The 60th annual Rattlesnake Rodeo will be in full swing later this month. And here this morning to tell us more about this upcoming event is Kelly Brandon and Miss Pam Potter. And thank y'all so much for joining us. Thank Hi. you for having us. Yeah, Good morning. absolutely. So this is exciting. 60th annual. A yes, lot of things going on. A so going let's on. talk about all of the different things and bands that will be represented there. Okay. Well, the rodeo, the 60th annual Rattlesnake Rodeo will be March 28th and 29th mm -hmm. of this year, and we've got lots of entertainment lined up. We have, for Saturday, we have Shane Owens, we have Confederate Railroad, and the headlining act for Saturday is Jordan Davis. Uh -huh. And then on Sunday, we have today's Yesterday Band, and the headlining act for Sunday is the Oak Ridge Boys. That's exciting. Yes, it is. Okay, so let's talk about 60th annual. You said March 28th and 29th. How can people get tickets and how much are they? Okay, they can go to www.oprattlesnakerodeo.com. $10 in advance can be purchased at Op City Hall. Okay. And they can also be purchased in advance online. Okay. And then the day of the event, it's $15 per person. Okay, oh, very well. And let's remind folks where exactly in Op is, are y'all located? We are located on Jeffcoat Avenue, which is at the Chanel Lee Stadium. Okay. It's the football stadium, the high school football stadium in Op. It's been Shouldn't there for miss years. It. Yeah. Should not, no, <laughs> should not miss it. Okay, what else is new or interesting that y'all want to uh, add about the rodeo this year? One unique thing we're trying to integrate into this year's rodeo is having past Rattlesnake Rodeo Queens come back okay. from years gone by. And so they will be presented. We don't have all the kinks ironed out, but we have spoken with several past rodeo queens about coming back. Well, it sounds like a fun event. Thank y'all so yes. much for your time. As Thank always, you. we're going to be for having us. Absolutely. Yes. Details on our website at dothanfirst.com if you would like to attend or for more ticket information. But first, we're going to head on over to Mr. Don Childry. Okay, it's like magic. I'm back with Mr. Don Childry. Thank you so much for being here. He is a professional rattlesnake handler. Is that correct? Oh, rattlesnake handler. <laughs> rattlesnake handler. Okay, excuse me. How long have you been doing this? And more importantly, why did you decide to do this? I started fooling with snakes when I was about 10 years old. Oh my goodness, you're <clears throat> braver than I am. And my parents had a lake house and I found some rattlesnakes up there and I thought that would be something interesting. Okay, Gives yeah. Gives you a little adrenaline rush to fool with something like that. It ended up causing them to sell the lake house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, uh, without further ado, I'm, if I look nervous, it's because I am. So before you get him out completely, I'm going to step to the side, but I'm going to let you uh, get him out of the box, if you would, and show the viewers. It's not every day we have a rattlesnake here in the studio, so, and he looks bad, or she. Oh, goodness. So uh, you were telling me, how do you know the difference between a male and a female snake? If you look right here, you'll mm -hmm. see the the hips when the snake settles down a little bit. Yeah. And there's a, a definite indentation. The males are a straight taper all the way back. The females yeah. Have the yeah, she looks pretty mad, so I'm going to step way back here. So tell me, y'all got a lot of things going on at the rodeo. You can get fried rattlesnake, you got some snake races. Tell us about that. Well, we take the uh, 10 snakes and put them in a circle. Each snake has a number on it, and they're sponsored by members of the Op Chamber of Commerce. Okay. And we've got a guy that calls it like a, a horse race. Okay. And uh, the first snake that crawls outside the circle wins that heat. We have three heat races, and then the three heat winners have a, a, a grand finale. Okay, and there are brave souls that will actually do that. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, willingly. <laughs> All right, so um, no sudden movements, right? I need to move really slow. Uh, rattlesnake will be there, fried rattlesnake. If people have never tried it, y'all can actually taste it and sample it there, too, at the Rattlesnake Radio this year. Yeah, I would suggest you come early because we've just got 300 pounds. Oh, my goodness, just 300. Just 300 pounds, and it'll be gone in a day. It time. goes quick, okay. Well, all right, well, what else do you want to mention about the rattlesnake? Because you can tell I'm... I'm I'm just keeping my distance. I don't want to move. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the best thing to do with these. We <clears throat> give it a little safety talk. And we have people that know how to answer a lot of questions about rattlesnakes. Uh -huh. You can come by the snake pen, and usually one of our handlers will be there if you want to touch one. So you'll have you let them touch it? They... Yeah, of course, the handler's got both ends in his okay. hand. Okay. And they, uh, all right. Well, thank you so much for your time uh, this morning. Um, I'm going to, I don't want to move back in here. I'm scared to move, honestly, Mr. Don. I'm just going to let you take uh, the snake. And y'all folks, we'll be right back with more local news after these messages. Stay with us.